What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. This is the 74th episode of Scoot Review. Let's go. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. Before we get into the topics today, please remember to leave a like on this video if you do end up enjoying it today. Subscribe if you have not already. Join the notification squad, leave a reply down in the comment section. And with that all being said, let's get right into the scootering news. So the first topic on today's show is not one, but two riders have actually left Mad Gear this week. Charlotte Worthington and Nick Tedrick have both left the team this week on good terms, which is good to hear. Uh, they posted it publicly on their Instagram pages that they were all good with one another and that they just wanted to move on and have a bit of a change. So Nick Tedrick posted, what's good everyone? I know you've all been waiting and wondering, and I think it's time to officially announce that I will no longer be riding for MGP Action Sports. I can't thank Mad Gear and everybody at Mad Gear enough for everything they have done for me to get me where I am today. We 100% left on great terms, and I wish them all the best for the future. Now it's time to get hyped for what the future holds at MGP Action Sports. Charlotte's post was much of the same and says, News, after a lot of thinking, I feel it's time to say goodbye to MGP Action Sports. There have been so many amazing times and endless trips and opportunities. I achieved things that I never thought I would and faced challenges that have made me who I am today. I can't give enough thanks to the people that have supported me and all the good memories. I'll still be around. Loads of love. Hashtag Mad Gear. So it's good that these two riders left on good terms because there's nothing worse than leaving a company on bad terms like the AO incident recently. Those guys have had a lot of beef with AO, uh, Hunter Bitchell and stuff like that. If you guys want to check it out, I'll link that video down below. But all in all, awesome to know that Mad Gear is definitely looking after their riders. You know that when people leave on good terms, you know that the company is definitely doing their best to help out their riders. There's not really any OG riders left on Mad Gear except for R. Willy. R. Willy is probably the, the only one left at this point from back in the day. Charlotte Worthington joined around 2011 and Nick Tedrick was shortly after, I believe. So it's interesting to see, like, who is Mad Gear going to bring on to replace these two riders? We'll have to find out in the near future. Second news topic on today's show, Kai Saunders just dropped a sweet scooter check over on the Vault Pro Scooters. He dropped a bunch of clips, like usually when people film a scooter check, they film maybe like five, six clips. But Kai Saunders is an absolute animal. This dude, this little guy is like... He's just nuts, dude. Like, his riding is absolutely insane. And I think the most interesting part about this scooter check is that he shows off the brand new Phoenix Ion deck. In one of Kovu's webisodes recently, where it was the Kai Saunders Sunday session, they did show off the deck just a little bit, saying you can't get them in stores. They're a new product on the way, a prototype, if you will. Now, the only difference between these two decks is that the head tube has had a little bit more metal taken out of it. So there's a cutout through the neck, and uh, this will remove a lot of the weight that is bearing on the front end of the scooter. So that's good to know because I know the ion decks are reasonably heavy, so it would be nice if they did take a little bit of metal out to just, you know, ease up that weight just a little bit to make it easier to do whips, bars, you know, all that good stuff. So have a look at some of these clips. I'll put in some of my favorites from the scooter check right now. Third and most requested news topic today is why Tanner Fox canceled his Australian tour. So the first two stops of the Aussie tour for Tanner Fox were absolutely hectic. About 2,000 people showed up at the store in Melbourne and almost 5,000 people over double the amount of people at Melbourne showed up to the Perth meet and greet where things got a little bit out of hand. Police were called to the Melbourne store, but nothing really bad happened. No one was arrested. No trouble went down. But in Perth, it was a different story. A man was arrested in the crowd at the Tanner Fox meetup due to some sort of physical violence, I believe. From the stories that I've heard, the man was accused of punching somebody, but the man was pulled into the store and then arrested and held inside the store until backup arrived to sort out the whole situation. Tanner Fox had to abandon the scene very quickly and very abruptly. He wasn't able to finish his meet and greet and a lot of people were left disappointed. Now, I, for one, I didn't think that a meet and greet could get that insane. Like, it was honestly some Justin Bieber-style shit. You don't actually realize Tanner's fan base until you see them acting out in real life. The kids were going absolutely mental. Why do they think smacking the car is okay? There were so many kids running all over the road and just filling up the streets surrounding the stores. Like, it was absolutely insane. Now, here's where it gets a bit more interesting. Scooter Hut posted a public statement about the incident 
and they have now removed it, which is really strange. But Tanner still reposted it on his gram where it says, It is with the utmost disappointment that after some incidents that occurred at today's Kennington store signing, we have been left with no choice but to unfortunately cancel the remaining two stops at Parramatta and Brisbane of the Scooter Hut Presents Tanner Fox Australian Tour due to disorderly crowds. The team at Scooter Hut and local police would like to reassure everyone that we have done everything possible to make sure that the events run smoothly, but due to the sheer size of the crowds at these events, it has become too dangerous and incredibly unsafe for Tanner, our staff, and the general public. We understand that some people have already made plans to attend from all over, and on behalf of Tanner and Scooter Hut, we do apologize, but the risk associated overall is not something we are happy to take on. There will be Tanner merchandise available online for the next week or so for those that have missed out or will miss out. We appreciate your understanding at this time. Tanner's addition to this caption just says, I know a lot of people will be very upset by this, but it's for the best. It literally came to the point where my safety and the safety of all the kids were at risk. The rest of Scooter Hut Australian Tour is cancelled. Safety has to come first. So there was apparently supposed to be a 300 ticket system. Only 300 people were able to attend the meet and greet but 5,000 people showed up. Apparently people had been queuing up all day long and unfortunately there was a bunch of kids that just ran to the front and pushed their way to the front to get said tickets before they were sold out. So as you can imagine, a whole lot of people were very, very disappointed. I'm not sure why they were selling tickets on the day. I feel like they should have sold them prior and had electronic copies uh, for those that wanted to buy tickets could be the only people that would show up and nobody else was able to show up. If you didn't have a ticket, you weren't getting in the line, you weren't going and that would be the end of all the drama, hopefully. Unfortunately, the whole sheer size, like it's impossible to control 5,000 people at a time. Like it's absolutely insane to try and ask that of somebody to control that many people at once. But, and then there's the issue of the vlog itself that Tanner made from Perth. And the guy doing burnouts in the green U is actually against the law and is subject to Hoon laws in Western Australia. If the police investigate, the owner could lose his car for 28 days by law. And then to confirm the age issue, as they were driving him to the shop, you can actually see a P plate in the front window which represents that whoever is driving the car has only just passed their license in the last two years, making them under 20 years old. So ultimately, the driver had a restriction on his license and was doing burnouts and was posted to 2.8 million people. So it's not really a good look for Scooter Hut, especially because like they don't want to be encouraging hooning. I'm sure Tanner Fox doesn't want to encourage that kind of behavior, but yet he put it in the video, I guess, because it was a bit of a laugh and it was kind of cool, but I'm not really sure what to make of this whole situation. It's just a really big mess. Unfortunately, there was just too many people and too much intensity for these meet and greets. So unfortunately, the other two had to be canceled. Let me know what you guys think about this in uh, the comment section below. Do you think it could have been organized a little bit better or do you think that the sheer amount of people just made it a lost cause? Today, I was attacked. I was attacked, not, not physically, not verbally, uh, face to face, but I was attacked on a concrete wall with some paint. Some kids from my local Washington Way skate park apparently tagged some profanity against me on our local skate park where we all sit on the daily basis. And uh, I just think this kind of behavior is absolutely pointless. Like, do you really feel good about yourself when you try to tear down somebody else's happiness and success? It doesn't make any sense. You are what is wrong with this world. You kids out there that bully other people, that make fun of other people, that do this kind of thing, send them Facebook messages, make Facebook posts about people, telling them to kill themselves. You are the reason why there is depression and suicide in our communities. You are the issue. We, I am not the issue. We are not the issue. Scooter riders are not the issue. You are butthurt. And that's all there is to it. The council will be removing the profanity as soon as they possibly can. And I will still be riding Washington Way every day. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for the news today. So don't forget to add me on Snapchat. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to the channel. Hit up the Facebook group, Scoot Review. Every post has to be approved by the admin, which is me. Only the best scootering content gets posted on the page. That is it for today's Scoot Review. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy, SB Scooter Brad, and I will see you all in the next video. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love.